when we're talking technology, we're talking of something that is uh, changing as we speak. So for something which is so dynamic, how does one really invest into that space? How do you ensure that you're const you know, constantly uh, investing in the space and ensuring that uh, you're staying at the cutting edge when it comes to investments in the tech space? What uh, we have uh, done is uh, what I call frugal innovation. Uh, what it means is that um, I have created uh, uh, these uh, sort of replicated these two guys in a garage model. I have uh, one of the few companies of my size which has four chief scientists and their teams who exclusively focus on building uh, newer components that can help our uh, clients. Looking at clients' problems from a technology lens and accelerating the um, uh, outcomes uh, for our clients. Automation, no matter which industry it is, uh, has become uh, very crucial. It's becoming more and more important for all industries to really look at automation. How much of automation are you seeing really happening uh, in that space? You know, I think, uh, first of all, automation has always been around. Automation is not something that uh, has started happening uh, this decade right from the invention of the wheel uh, to the invention of uh, you know basic uh, tools instruments hunting weapons it was all about automation the only thing that has changed is that now uh, while previously automation was uh, focused more on reducing physical labor uh, with ai ml and so on uh, you know, it's uh, moved away from just physical labor to uh, more of uh, mental work. And that is why uh, there's a lot of hue and cry about automation and job loss and, and so on. Uh, but uh, uh, again, uh, you know, uh, just because uh, phone was invented doesn't mean that banking went away. So doesn't, similarly, just, just because internet happened, doesn't mean that banking went away, right? It, it was incorporated as a channel. Uh, the banking workforce has expanded over the years. Newer products have come, newer approaches have come. And the same thing will uh, happen uh, with automation. And I think I would look as at uh, automation not as a threat, um, but uh, as an enablement or as an amplification of human potential.